I've seen all your videos. Uh, have you? Yeah, we do. Man. Good, man. Are you a vegan? No, you, you just watch all the vegan stuff? Uh, we're security for the site. Oh, okay. So, wait, wait. So you watch the videos, but what's going on? Why aren't you, why aren't you vegan yet? <laughs> Personal choice. I, I've seen. Wait, you you would have heard me talk about personal yeah. choice. Yeah, no, I've heard everything. I've seen you on the on the uh, TV shows. You all right? Yeah, good man. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Um, yeah. Have you seen that? You've seen the pigs go in, haven't you? You see them all the time, eh? Are you here all the time? Yeah, I work. You work here, okay. So don't you ever think of like? Do you ever look at it like? I know you used to eat. Do you used to eat pigs? Just wondering. Yeah, so like when you when you see them and you look in their eyes, they're obviously experiencing reality like you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you ever think of that? Like they're experiencing reality like you, so they were. I think that they still respect each other's opinions and choices on it. And I feel like I have a, I have a. a so what's your opinion on it? I have it? a very educated opinion back in comparison to other people. Okay, so what's your opinion on what I'm saying? Like they're sentient, like they're they're experiencing reality like you, and they're going in here to be executed, gas chamber, I whatever. Think, I think that. You are entitled to, fully entitled to your opinion in your way of life, and I'm entitled to mine. Yeah, but what is, I'm just wondering, Ben, what is your opinion? Because you haven't said it, you just said I'm entitled I'm not, to it. I'm not a vegan, I eat meat. Yeah, but what is your opinion on, like, because I used to eat meat and I, at the end of it, I was kind of feeling like it was wrong. So I was just wondering, do you ever feel that way? Obviously, because I'm a contracted security, there's only so much I'll, I, will, I'll, I will be able to say on camera, mate. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Is, so you're just playing the, um, okay. Some police officers, like police liaisons officers, have given their personal opinion though, and some prefer not to, so. Well, well my opinion is, is quite simple. I, I'm a meat eater, and I respect your opinion. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't give me much to go with, though. I just, I just feel like. Do you, wait a second, do you respect the opinion of, like, uh, do you, do you respect everyone's opinion? Yes. You want to talk to your opinion. What about, uh, you, so you res so what about, do you respect child abuser's opinions? Well, there's a different... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you respect a child abuser's opinion? So, no, I certainly don't agree with it. Yeah, but do you respect it? Like, do you have respect for it? No, respect, no. Respect. Okay, so you don't respect everyone's opinion. Yeah, do you respect animal abuser's I, I opinions? Wouldn't, I wouldn't, um... I wouldn't do anything to someone mentioning their opinion, whether they feel like it's a black isn't it? Uh, if someone was a child abuser, I'd tell them they're a well, piece of shit. Well, well yeah. yeah. And but I'd say, I don't respect words. your opinion, you should be locked up and... Yeah, but they're words. For example, I don't agree with the racist, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything. Do you, yeah, exactly. That's, a good, yeah, that's a, actually a good... Like, for example, look at Mo at the end of the road here. Yeah. He's a very, very good friend of mine, my security guard. Yeah. Black gentleman. He's my, he's my best friend, you know. But if, so, if somebody was racist towards him, I wouldn't, just, I wouldn't hit him. I'd, I'd speak out against it. Oh yeah, I would. I, I would. I would probably uh, give him a mouthful of something. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Def I would. Yeah. But so you don't respect a racist opinion. I don't respect opinion. So so should they're I? Still, they're still allowed to have the opinion. Oh yeah, you can, you can have an opinion that's racist, or you can have an opinion that is uh, abusive towards animals as well. Like, but I don't have to respect it. Like. It, it, I, it, I think it comes down to the fact of how much society values an animal life. Exactly. Okay, but what if I don't value some certain humans' lives? Does that that human still has value? But, yeah, but I think that society. You're hundred percent right in the fact that you know if everyone saw where it come from, there'd be a lot more people your way rather than my way. Yeah, because most people have a half a heart, yeah, and they don't want animals to be abused. And I'm not saying you don't have half a heart. So I think you tuck it away. Some, you've got some defence mechanism there, but but like. You know, you, your opinion is that animals are here to be butchered and killed so you can eat them. And my opinion is that they deserve, they're I, deserving I, of life. But I, I, I believe my opinion is based on an educational point of view. I, I know where it comes from. I've seen it, I know it. Yeah, you know it comes from a sentient being who wants to live. Yeah, and they have their life robbed from them for a five minute meal. But, it, but, it, but it's my cho that's my choice, isn't it? Yeah, rapists got choice to rape. Child abuse has got choice to abuse children. But then that depends on animal abuse has got your choice. Opinion of how much you value human life in, in comparison to a pig's life. Well, it doesn't. I don't need to value a pig as much as I value a human, but I just need to value them enough not to stab them in the throat for a sandwich. It's, it's not much value. It's just let them be. Well, I agree, but you say let them be. Where in the UK would you see a pig if we weren't using them? No, we should, I don't think we should be mass breeding them into existence for the sole purpose of slaughtering them for their bodies. I think that's immoral. So whether or not they exist outside of animal agriculture... I, I, I think you're, you're, you're right in the fact that, you know, a cert, so many years ago it might it may have been uh, just justified that, you know... Hunting and stuff, maybe? Yeah. It's survival, you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. now it's not needed. 
Oh, so it's needless. Yeah, yeah. But you've got, you've got to remember that humans are selfish people. Humans are selfish. They care about what they want. Yeah. I don't care about. I mean, that, that's people. yeah. Do you that's think that's justif- Like, do you think that makes it justified if we're selfish? You know, it's in, in, in the same way that you know, I don't. The man aren't get paid at the end of the month. I don't need to spend it all on me. I could get by. I could. I could, I could, I could give the rest to charity to look after people. But I'm. A, well, you're talking about doing a positive thing. I'm talking. To, I'm asking you to stop doing a negative thing. Yeah. That's different. I'm just well, asking you to stop contributing to your abuse of animals. I'm not asking you to be an activist and give to animal charities. Well, uh, yeah, but as I'm saying, you know, it, it, it's, it's a choice. Well, there's a difference between you giving to a child's charity and you abusing a child. Yes. That, that one's a negative, one's yeah. a positive. I'm just asking you to stop doing the negative. I know, but you know, it's still it's still my choice. And as I respect you. I know. You, I've got a choice to walk up to some innocent person over there and kick them in the face. That's my choice. And I don't go, if I did it, I wouldn't say, well, that was my choice. Yeah, there's, a, there's a difference between a thought process and doing it to another human. But I, I would disagree. I, I mean, I, I personally Not disagree for me. with you. It's, I respect you. If I booed a dog, I, if I booed a dog, I've just booted a dog. If I booed a person, I've just booted a person. If I booed a pig, I've booted a pig. Mm-hmm. But as I said, pe- people um, are selfish people and they rank people things in what, you know, for example, nine, nine out of 10 people wouldn't hurt a dog. Whereas they don't care about. Yeah, pigs are more intelligent than dogs scientifically. What what, is, what does a pig possess that a dog doesn't possess? What? The, what does a dog possess that a pig doesn't possess? I suppose a human can get a lot back, a lot more back out of a dog as opposed to a pig. Have you ever hung out with the pigs? I think I want to. Why not? <laughs> they're smart. I'll tell you what they smell though. No, they only smell because they're kept in factory farms in their own shit. But they don't ever, they don't ever don't, defecate don't where they live. I toilet train a pig in my house. You can. Or in your house. Yeah, no, have you, you should go follow um, uh, Esther the Wonder Pig. The, Esther the Wonder Pig. I know which one I'd rather snuggle up to in my bed at night. Yeah, yeah, dog, <laughs> but okay, but okay. I wouldn't want to snuggle up to you. I wouldn't want you to be gas chambered and stabbed and turned into bacon. No, but again, it's, a, it's about the value of, like, for example, I, I value a human life much more than animal life. No, well, maybe I do too. Yeah. Doesn't mean I, I want to stab an animal to death, turn him into sh- Yeah, but... I- I, I am happy for that happening, for me to have the bacon rolls and, and so on and so forth. But that's yeah. my choice. How long does a bacon roll take to eat? Seconds. How long the, yeah, so that's a pig's entire existence for seconds in a bacon roll. Yeah. But at, at least I'm educated on it. I know about it. I don't think, I don't know if you really I mean, are. I, mean, I think 90% of the people who eat meat, I've got no idea it comes from, I'm not interested, they want to know. It comes from factory farms. Yeah, they just turn up to McDonald's, have the burger, and that's it. It's a burger. They don't, they don't, they don't know where it comes from. They're not interested. They don't yeah. want, they, they, I think in the back of their head, they know that they don't want to. Oh, what if I gave? What if you, there was bacon that was made of plants that tasted quite similar? Why wouldn't you just go for that one? If they made meat in a, if it, do you know how they can make uh, meat? Be- beyond pet burgers and that. And it's called um, impossible and that. They, no, they, they they can grow meat in labs now, can't they? But it costs a fortune. Yeah, they've made just as good stuff in, it, 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 out of plants. I see it. Have you tried a Beyond Burger? A what? A Beyond Burger? No, I can't say how. Yeah, in Tesco's they're pretty good. I can't say how. Yeah, there's good plant-based meat options. Some of them are crap, but some of them are really good. But uh, I, I mean... These are really like nuts. But um, with it being a food manufacturing site, not like nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, hey, just like, you know, you said about valuing human life more, right? Yeah. You just have to value an animal's life more than your five minute meal and your taste pleasure. I mean, it's just like your taste buds over an animal's life. I know, no, I, you're right. I accept that you're right, but I'm still, as the rest of the population is, I'm still selfish. I yeah. still choose that. I don't that. think you always are selfish, though. No, but the, okay. every human has a line of selfishness. So, so let me ask you this. Would you knowingly buy a product if you knew that you were directly causing, through the supply and demand chain, the abuse of a small child or a dog? No, because I value a child or a small dog more than I value a pig. Oh, yeah, and why? Because, again, I'm selfish and I think that... So, but, but is there a logical reason for that? Do you have a logical reason to value a dog over a pig or a cow? Yeah, I think it just come, it comes back again to the, the point of the fact that of my ranking of what I yeah. like more. Speciesism. Yeah. You heard that word before? I haven't heard that word before, but yeah. So it's like racism, but like it's to do with um, it's like discriminating that, between species of animals. Uh, dogs matter, cows, yeah, pigs example, don't matter. If I stepped on an ant by mistake, I wouldn't feel bad at all. If I stepped on my dog's foot, I'd, I'd care. Right? I'd be like, oh, I've hurt my dog, let me kiss it better. And oh, what if you stabbed a pig in the throat right here and let him bleed out, suffer and die? No, I don't agree with that. Would you, would you I, think I, that... I, wait, 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 what's the matter with that? I'll tell you why. Because I, I, wouldn't, I don't agree, for example, personally, 
I don't, I don't like the idea of halal. It's different. Okay. Like, if, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it the most. Gas chamber. I think. Have you seen footage from a gas chamber? Have you seen footage from inside a gas chamber? Where, where did you see it? On the internet? Yeah, I've seen things on the internet, yeah. Um, yeah, so they try to struggle and they, they burn from the inside out because the gas reacts with the mucous membranes in their eyes and their throat and their nose and their lungs and they suffer. Scream. But then, but then what you really, but that's all um, allowed under animal welfare law. Who you really want to be lobbying. I don't care what law allows. Law used to allow slavery and the Holocaust as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. But if you look at the way the society's moved on from that, it's, you know, from what it was to what it is, it's getting better all the time. Do you think you would be a, what, what would you have been in the past, an abolitionist or a slave owner? Well, based on the, based on the fact, I probably, if, in, if I, based on the fact that I'm from, you know, I'm not, not trying to sound racist, I'm a white British male from the UK, probably more likely to be a slave owner than a slave. Right? If I was born well, in you, ago, yeah, but you'd probably go on with, oh, it's traditional, we're all doing it, um, I don't see back, black people on the same level as white, but this is back, all. Back then, if you speak out against stuff like that, you'd, everyone else would. Yeah, yeah, there was a big, there was actually a war and, and things like that. that but, but like, like in this time here, this type of uh, animal slavery is legal, yeah. you know, then they're actually... But again, it depends on your, view, your your viewpoint and what you want to call it. Like you call it animal slavery and they call it livestock. You know? They use euphemisms. Yeah. They call it humane slaughter I as well. I don't, know, I don't know why they call it an abattoir. It's, hard, hard, hard. it's a French word for yeah. a murder factory. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they call it that. And then why do they hide it behind these big hedges? Every, all the slaughterhouses I've seen, they've got big hedges around them. Business. That's why. You know why. They want to hide the business. It's a business. Because, hey, well, what about it? We just had the conversation. You know that, that if most people knew the chain of everything, there's probably less, you might you get less business. Well, what's the matter with it? Okay. If, if you think, if it's normal, natural, and fine, necessary, and all good, and we've been doing it for thousands of years, why can't we show the public? They know, what, they know what's going on. They just don't see it. Like, for example, they don't want to see it. You watch, for, yeah, no, but for example, yeah, you know, you, you see Peppa Pig, you don't get the, like, the kids, they don't get the connection of what's happening. What do you think it's okay? Do you have children? No, I don't. So, yeah, so I always ask parents if they feed their, their children like butchered animals yeah, and what their kids might think of that if they found out. Yeah, what do you think of that? Parents giving their kids executed animal body parts. Right. See, I don't, I don't see it that way. You just see it as a bit of humanely slaughtered. Morrison's meat. <laughs> well, well, you know what I'm saying. Like, I see it. I see it. Well, how do you think kids will see it? The, like a pig, they see the pigs going in, they see them get executed, cut up into pieces. They don't know they go to farms, though. Hey? They, they, know, they know that the process is <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I didn't know till I was bloody 20 something years old. You know what I mean? The kids don't know. They don't even think when they're eating a fish finger, it's a real fish. I think they, they see the connection to the drawings of the fish that come from the sea, but I don't think they see that, you know, if you stand on the deck of a boat and see it pulled out, it's probably a bit different. Yeah, it? it's hooked through their face and suffocating on the boat deck. What are the, what are the ones that, is it pescatarians, the ones that eat fish, not me? Yeah, there's a few different names. Yeah, veganism's just a philosophy, it's like... Well, well I was having a conversation with the vegans here once before about, I was interested in what your opinion on it. I don't know what it was, it was something to do with the fact that He's, one of them said that um, technically you can eat some form of shellfish or something because it hasn't got a nervous system or something. Uh, oyster or something like that. Oyster. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I give them a benefit of the doubt. I think they've got the beginnings of nerve ganglia. But, um, it's still a living thing, but then you can say... But like, our plants are living things. Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah. about plants. Um, I only care about trees as much as they uh, give animals and humans life. Yeah, obviously, you've been vegan. Do you care about... Um, environment as in like uh, global warming and stuff as well. Yeah, I do. I think animal rights is more of a pressing issue. I think, um, I think again, with global warming, you've got the problem with the fact that human selfishness isn't going to change in time stop from happening. Yeah, I mean, the, the uh, people eating burgers and it's destroying the children's future. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's all connected. I think it's a big karmic loop torturing and murdering trillions of sentient animals and it's going to come back to bite us in the ass. Mm. But, you know, mimicking uh, flesh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, how does a sausage roll mimic a pig? <laughs> you're trying to mimic, like, how does a sausage roll look like a pig? How does a steak bake look like a cow? Uh, you're right, but I think it's just the fact that 
supposed to be in it. You know, well, wait a second. Wait, you see people taking a bite out of a cow? You try to make your meat look like, you try to make your animals look like food. No, it's like, it's like if I see a burger, I automatically assume. Well, that's not a cow, dude. Assume. What are you talking about? Burger's assume. not a cow. So like people go, oh, vegans are trying to mimic meat. Well, you're trying to mimic food. No, that's what you're right. Yeah, yeah. They, they, like I just if, want to see you with a plate of leaves and that's it. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going to have burgers and chocolate and ice cream and, you know, chicken sandwiches and chicken schnitzels as well, but we just get vegan versions. Because if you were going to go vegan and you wanted a schnitzel, you know, you can have one. You wanted a burger, you can have one. 